Aloha, Matt Bruises, and this is your WWE TV Sports Update. The third ranked Whitewater football team defeated UW Oshkosh 32-13 to go to 6-0 on the season. After the Titans scored first, the Warhawks put up 22 unanswered, with Max Myler connecting with Tyler Holte and Alex Pete for receiving touchdowns. Pete then also added another one on the ground. The, def the defense only allowed 217 yards of total offense and got an interception return for a touchdown to steal the game by linebacker Ryan Lisgo. After the Warhawks play at UW River Falls, the Whitewater will play UW Eau Claire for homecoming on October 30th at 1 p.m. But tune in at 1230 for the pregame show. The ninth ranked Warhawk women's volleyball team took down number 21 UW Stevens Point in straight sets. Morgan Wardell and Kristen Anderson each had 10 kills and two blocks. Aaron McNeil also had eight kills. UW TV will have the Dig Panici Classic live on October 22nd, first Cornell at 7 p.m. With the pregame show at 6.30 and then on October 23rd, the Warhawks face Wheaton at 5 p.m. After two more matches, the Warhawks will prepare for the WEAC tournament. The Peter Whitewater women's golf team is coming off of 15th rank out of 20 teams after the first day in the D3 Fall Invitational. The 20 tournament field features several of the top programs in the nation. Ashton Sinek and Blue Shepherd are among the top half of the field, both scoring an 81. The Fall Invitational will wrap up this week, as will the fall season for the golf team. And we'll have more sports after this. Soccer team shut out UW Eau Claire 1-0 to move to 11-4 as sophomore Elizabeth Klein scored the only goal. The women's program will play two of their next three at home starting with UW Oshkosh. The men's team is now 11-5-1 after a long road trip. They are 2-2 two two after the last four games and now play the next two at home. The Whitewater men's and women's tennis teams wrapped up play at the Intercollegiate Tennis Association Cup in Rome, Georgia with five Warhawks competing. On the men's side, All-American John Zakowski, Cole Lindwall, and the doubles teams Zakowski and Adam Gray all got up to the semifinals before losing hard-fought sets. On the women's side, All-Americans Cassie Lee and Autumn Bruno also got to the semifinals, but lost to the College of New Jersey. The men's fall season is now complete, but the women's will continue. The Whitewater men's and women's cross-country teams competed in the Inter-Regional Rumble on October 16th. The men's program ranked eighth in the country and as a team, took second out of 35 teams. David Fosbender, Gunnar Schlender, and Ryan Pasca all finished inside the top 10. For the women's team, Ardea Licurdo and Paige Fosbender finished 64th and 73rd respectively, out of 302 racers. Peter Whitewater will host the Warhawk Open on October 22nd. For more updates, stay tuned to UWTV. Check us out at uwtv.org or a 24-hour stream at uwtv.housing at uwtv.edu. I'm Matt Bruzes. This has been your sports update on UWM TV.